Welcome to Ditch Auto. My name's Jared. I have the Zeiss Batis or Batisse 1.8 85 millimeter e-mount lens and I'm super excited for this lens because um, I got my taste for Zeiss lenses when I first bought uh, one of their crop sensor lenses for Sony e-mount um, and just fell in love with the build quality. It was just an amazing lens. I, I was just bummed because it was a crop sensor lens um, and I still have it. I have a 12 millimeter um, Zeiss lens uh, that's for the Sony e-mount but um, crop sensor. So nonetheless, it's still a fantastic lens, but I was ex super excited when they announced these lenses and it's it's been a while. They announced these lenses a while ago. Even pre-order for these lenses was quite some time ago. And I finally received mine today. They shipped out this last uh, weekend. Um, so I was super excited to get it. So I wanted to do an unboxing, initial thoughts. And then at the end of this video, I'll edit in a couple of photos um, just to kind of uh, show you what I've been able to experience with it so far. Um, and then hopefully next week I'll come back and do a full review on the lens because it is a, a little bit pricier of a lens for Sony E-mount lenses. Uh, typically, a lot of the Sony E-mount lenses have been under $1,000. Um, this one's just a bit over $1,000. Uh, and um, it also has a OLED readout on the screen, so on the screen of the lens. So it's, it's no longer, are you looking at anything kind of analog um, on a lens? And, and on some of the lenses these days, they don't even have any markings at all. You have to rely on what you're seeing in your viewfinder. Um, this lens actually gives you all that information right on the lens, uh, which I think is pretty neat. So um, like most Zeiss lenses, the uh, slides right off the cover of the box and you open it up and very simple. You have your lens and your lens hood right in here. This has been a consistent uh, experience that I have had with um, Zeiss lenses. And then there's uh, a bit of information right inside the flap here, which um, I'll save for a rainy day. So let's go ahead and pull this lens out. I have heard reports that this lens is a little heavier um, and it, it, it doesn't feel super heavy to me. I, I do obviously have lighter weight lenses. The lens that's currently on my, on my camera is the 35, the Sony 35 F1.4. Um, and that's a pretty heavy lens. It's a big lens for a prime lens. Um, and so I heard some people talking about the fact that this lens from Zeiss was a bit heavy. However, I feel it's a pretty decent lens. All right, so let's go ahead and mount this uh, lens up on my camera here. Let's remove this 35 millimeter and put this 85 millimeter on. Um, I have wanted to own an 85 millimeter lens for a long time. Um, even when I was shooting Canon, back in my Canon days, uh, the 85 millimeter um, 1.2, I believe, was just one of those lenses that I never invested in. I had a lot of other prime lenses that went down that low. I just didn't ever invest in uh, um, a 85 millimeter. So this lens went on really snugly, actually um, a little bit tighter uh, of a mount, I believe, than my other Sony lenses, which kind of go on pretty easy. This went on nice and snug. Um, I actually had to, you know, kind of put a little bit of force into rotating this onto the body. Not a problem. I mean, you know, lenses should mount really nicely and securely, but I feel really good about how that felt in comparison to my other lenses. Um, so we'll go ahead and just, for the heck of it, mount the uh, the hood on. I have loved the way that these lenses look. Um, Zeiss makes some beautiful lenses. Uh, they even have a couple of, of lenses similar to this look that they've came out with for Canon and Nikon, and they're just um, they're just beautiful looking lenses, and they just feel so good in the hand. I mean, Zeiss they really really pay attention to the details on these lenses. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull off this little cover um, that went over the top of the little OLED screen and let's go ahead and power this up. Powers up, it says Zeiss, and then, uh, and then it says nothing. So right now the, the uh, lens itself and the little OLED readout is not saying anything. Um, this may be due to the fact that I, I have my lens set to automatic modes. So there we go, we put it in a manual mode and now I'm getting that readout information on here. Which if you're in automatic 
focus. You're probably not going to be paying attention to these things um, because your eye is going to be, you know, up against your camera. You're going to be looking and taking pictures and uh, paying attention to the camera itself, not so much the lens. But when you've got your lens in manual focus, you're paying more attention to what's going on. Um, this is really neat, really responsive. Um, it's really neat to see the information that's read out on this. It's telling you basically your focus distance. Um, the information that it's displaying here is going to help you better uh, determine how your photo is going to look. You know, depending on um, you know how close you are to your subject, the fall off, and all of that stuff with your your aperture of choice. Uh, because even here, as I go in and just make choice or make changes to um, my aperture these numbers are changing here on the back of the lens or on the top of the lens. So it's, it's really interesting to me because the analog lenses of the past, what I've been used to when I was shooting Canon, I never really paid too much attention to the data that was on the lens. And then moving towards the Sony platform where a lot of the lenses don't have anything on them at all, uh, with the exception of this lens here, which um, has a, a manual aperture ring, um, there isn't much to be said. There isn't there isn't much on these lenses anymore. So it's really neat that um, that Zeiss kind of brought that back, uh, giving us uh, a more modern look at the data that uh, we need in order to capture a photo the way that we're wanting to capture it. Um, so it's kind of interesting. It's going to be interesting for me to now transition into a mindset to where I'm paying attention to that data because I'm not used to having it, or it's not used. Uh, I'm not used to it being easily accessible. And right now with the digital readout, very easy for me to understand what's going on and to um, take those, those uh, measurements into account. So overall, this lens is just really beautiful. It's uh, just a gorgeous lens to look at. It has the T-Star coating. They take a 67 millimeter filter. Um, this, the, the iris in there is just beautiful to look at um, as, it, as it changes, as you adjust the aperture. Very responsive. It's just beautiful. I love looking through lenses. I love seeing the mechanics of the lenses. Zeiss is obviously well known for um, just producing amazing, amazing photography tools and lenses. So um, I'm excited to go out and start shooting with this lens, uh, not only because it's a beautiful Zeiss lens, but because it's an 85 millimeter, 1.8 maximum aperture. Um, it's really gonna help me out in low light, especially with um, my new AR, A7R2, uh, and then even putting this on the A7S and seeing what a lens that goes really wide can do on a extremely sensitive camera. So thanks for checking out this unboxing and kind of initial thoughts on this lens. This is the kind of lens that you have to hold to appreciate. Um, I always you know, thought to myself, well, Zeiss lenses, they're great, they're more expensive, but really what's the difference? The difference is the experience and just the, the thought and detail that goes into lenses like these. And then obviously the way that they perform. Um, and we'll see that in some of the pictures we're gonna take a look at. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here on Ditch Auto where we talk about products, we talk about photography and tips and tricks on how to get better at shooting in manual mode. Thanks so much for checking out this video and we'll see you next time.